Hello. I'm here to tell you a little bit about what your child will expect when they begin using Kids A to Z. Kids A to Z is an online platform that helps your child build their literacy and language skills. Let's check it out. Whoa! Looks like we fell into the mobile app version of Kids A to Z. To log in, your child will enter his or her teacher's username in the white bar. Then, your child will select his or her name and log in with a unique password. Hey, glad you're still with me. Did you know that you could also log into Kids A to Z from any web browser? Let's take a look. First, type into any internet browser, www.kidsa-z.com. Then, follow the same login steps. Once logged in, your child will either see a standard view of Kids A to Z or a more mature view. On the home page, your child will see three icons, Messages, My Stats, and Star Zone. The My Stats area is where your child can monitor his or her stats, including how many stars are available to spend, what badges have been earned, and what progress is being made. The star zone is where your child can spend the stars they have earned by choosing between the avatar builder and the Raz rocket. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. It looks like we entered the reading room. The reading room is a place where your child can access thousands of texts. Most texts in Kids A to Z have three different icons beneath them. The first icon is a pair of headphones. By clicking on this icon, your child will be able to follow along while the text is read aloud. There are many kinds of animals. The elk is in the deer family. This will help your child develop important language and reading skills. If you click on the book icon, you will be taken to the first page of a text. Now, instead of the text being read to your child, he or she will read it themselves. If needed, however, click on a word to hear it be read aloud. Also, at the top of the screen, your child can use a variety of e-tools, including a record option that helps build reading and language fluency. Sorry about that. I was just finishing my quiz. After your child reads or listens to a book, they can take a quiz to test their comprehension. Thanks for joining me on our tour. We know that you will be excited about the literacy and language progress your child makes. Hello, everyone, and very good afternoon to all, all of you here. I'm Dr. Tay, the Director of Special Projects, Malta, Malaysia. Thank you for joining us on this uh, sharing session. Okay, and today it's, the, it's about the English language storytelling competition, Mango's team in collaboration with Malta, Malaysian English Language Teaching Association. Before we begin, okay, Let's uh, let me share with you one important announcement. There is a Q and A tab at the bottom of your speaker. Okay, um, your phone there. Okay, if you have any question to ask the speaker, please type and at the Q and A tab there. Okay, located at the bottom of your screen, and please include your full name. Okay, please remember at the Q and A tab, please type any questions if you have. Uh, to ask the speaker, right? And please include your full name. Okay. Uh, without further ado, I would like to invite Elaine from Mango's team to share her sharing session for today. Thank you. 
Hi, good afternoon. Can you guys hear me out there? I hope you can. Good afternoon to all. It's a pleasure to have all of you with us today. And my name is Elaine from Mango Steams, together with my team, Grace. Hi, Grace, you are there. And we are, in fact, very honored to be partnering with Melta on our very first storytelling competition. So today's topic of discussion every good story. So the main section, which is the competition itself, where I will touch on the three age categories according to the age group. The, the main section, which is the competition itself, where I'll touch on the um, selected books, their purposes, guidelines for storytellers, prizes to be won, how to participate, how to make it interesting, how is the story going to be interesting, and if time permits, all right, we can even go through a live registration so that you can easily register and come on board and tell us the story. And last but not least, let's go to the Q&A Q &A at the end of the session. All right, next. So who we are, Mango Steams was set up in 2018 and we had a vision to address the growing needs of the K-12 market focusing in STEAMs. STEAMs in short meaning we focus in science, technology, engineering, English, maths and also social science. We are actually the K-12 division of iGroup Pacific and this company, iGroup Asia Pacific, caters for the higher education and has been around for the past four decades. So with offices all over the world. Next, please. And Learning A to Z is, as you know, we are reading books from this platform. They are our partner platform and the, it's literacy focused with pre-K to six learning resources with a very rather comprehensive reading platform and it's listed in the NASDAQ and it has been around for 18 years in the market. So we have about 9 million subscribers in over 170 countries. Next. Okay, we're going to stop here for a moment and you'll be wondering, hmm, why storytelling? Many reasons, and I have actually listed four here, but there are many reasons. These are the top four, which I think is relevant. Telling a story requires a wide, wide range of skills, and you have to really know the story to do it really well. So for storytellers, kids out there, you need to know the story by heart, hopefully, and you need to organize your story pretty well, and also try to speak with clarity so that you wow the judges and you are easily understood by the audience. Use of facial expression and your body language. They are also equally important. Now, you also have to unleash a little bit of your creativity skills so that you can entertain the judges and the audience. The audience, I'm, I, I think it will be your mom or your dad or your teachers or your peers. Of course, there is always a moral behind every story where children can make inferences. You can have discussion with your parents, teachers or your peers, right? OK, let's go to the next slide. OK, very quickly here, we look at the three categories. As you can see, they are um, preschool that is in category A, for the age group of four to six years old, and you are given a 90 seconds to uh, two minutes for you to do your storytelling. And for lower primary school, they are in category B, seven to nine years old, and you have a maximum of three minutes to storytell. And of course, for the upper primary schools, you are in category C, and you are 10 to 12 years old and you have a maximum of six minutes to do your storytelling. So we have also chosen uh, books for you. 
So all the nine books are carefully selected and they are all fiction based. So um, take your pick and do your best. All right. Next. OK, I will stop here for a little while. As you can see, we have three books for you to choose from. Now, these books, uh, example, After School, Yours or Mine, Hamster House, uh, sorry, Hamster Home. Uh, we will show you the books later, but overall the books show repetitive text structure. So you can actually children get to know, to teach children to connect to prior knowledge and also support early readers so that readers will understand text better. All right, let's go to the next slide. Now, this is for category seven to nine years old. We have three books for you to choose from as well. Monkey and Crocodile, which is fairly popular with the kids now. We have a lot of registration on that. The Drum, which is also as interesting, and Mystery at Cam White Cloud. So you can have uh, the children have the opportunity to identify main characters and connect to prior knowledge. And it also has high frequency words and simple dialogues to support early readers as well. OK, next. All right, for higher primary children, there is only there is always an opportunity to analyze character choices. So I have picked up three books here which are quite popular, in fact, very popular, Alibaba. I think all school children in Malaysia would know what is Alibaba and the 40 Thieves, right? And we have an adventure on the Amazon, Amazon River. And of course, we have a mystery fiction which is called The Monkey's Paw. So it, it is also um, children, you are highly encouraged to tell it in your own words to capture the essence. OK, next slide, please. Right, I will also take a moment here to tell about the guidelines on the storytelling. Uh, you are encouraged to tell it in your own words and there's a need to capture the main essence of the story. Now, over the past few days, our team has actually um, encountered some very gung-ho and excited parents and teachers and participants. Uh, they asked if they could put in some background songs. Can they change the characters of the stories? Can they speak in with a Chinese accent just like myself? Or can they speak with an Indian accent? It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine as long as the essence of the story is there. Okay, now let me elaborate with an example in the following slides so that you can get a little bit clearer. Okay, let's go to this very interesting story. It's called the drum. Now the drum tells the story of a young boy who shows kindness to others and in return, he received kindness back. All right, so your main character is the boy. And can you change your character? Yes, go, go along with it. You can change the character. You can have a, lay, a little girl or you can have the mom to become the dad or the auntie or the uncle. As long as the main character, it's up to you to be creative. All right. And of course, what is the essence of the story? The, it's essentially being kind. Woman, let's say this, this boy encountered a woman. She's struggling to light her stove and the boy gave him, gave her the stick her mom presented to him and the woman gave him a break in return. So you can give examples, different, different examples, but in the end, the boy gets his dream item. So that is the essence of the story. And where is the setting? The setting is in India. However, you can also bring it to your own country like Malaysia, Singapore, Southeast Asia, Philippines. 
it's really entirely up to you and your creativity. I hope uh, this is clear. Uh, let's go to the next slide. All right. Now, every story in every storytelling guidelines, there is always the beginning and there is always the middle where you build up the story, the peak of the story, and then it comes to a finale, the conclusion of the story. So for higher primary kids, the storybooks are much lengthier, all right? And older kids can summarize challenges in the middle portion part, and in the end, how was the problem solved? Did the storyteller write to solve a problem? And how did the story conclude? Okay, so Mort, um, next please. So we have also um, stated here to unleash your creativity. Remember, always try to also have fun. Besides memorizing your storybooks, you can use props. It can, it can be a small prop. It can be a big prop. You can have background music. You can, you can even have a musical instrument. You can play your harmonica. Or if you're more on the artistic type, you can do your finger puppets. You can have stuffed animals. Or if you want to bring it to another level, you can have a costume. You can put in a hat or even a cap. So it is entirely up to you. Remember, remember, remember to have fun with your storytelling. And also, uh, more tips, children, hand movements, face movements, expression to help you tell the story. Use different voices for different characters to bring out the characters. You can do that as well, all right? And also, you can speak faster, you can speak slower, and higher and lower. So it's all up to you. Be creative, enjoy the process, okay? Next. Now, I also want to introduce our distinguished panel of judges. Uh, she's none other than Pamela. Pamela, wave. Uh, she's from Malta. And of course, Jennifer Nye, who is uh, from Learning A to Z. Now, there will be a total of 30 marks allotted for each rubric. So the judges will be judging while them with your language, with your pronunciation, with your stress, with your rhythm, your presentation, your expression, emotion, and most importantly, be creative. Make the story become alive, right? Okay, there will be a 30 marks points for you, rating for you. Next. Okay, here is the grand thing that you are looking forward, the prizes for winners. So for each category, there will be one winner and the winner will take away 150 cold hard cash. On top of that, you will get one year ebook access. That's 12 months of reading of 3000 story books with you and you will get a personalized e-certificate for your achievement, all right? And there's no losers. We also have the top 10, which you will have 12 months of access to learning A to Z books, and you also get an e-certificate. And to all participants out there, you will also be receiving an e-certificate for your participation. So stay excited, okay? Next. All right, um, for this part is the technical part. I will pass my baton to my dear colleague, Grace, she will run through with you and she's been working really hard at the back of the scene to support you in terms of participating and to get you on the right track. So Grace, I pass, you, pass it to you. Thank you so much. Okay, um, thank you, Elaine. Hello, everyone. My name is Grace. Hope you can hear me. Uh, I'll be showing you on how to participate and also how to submit your video. I believe most of you have seen this page and have registered. So here are the three simple steps that you need to follow to participate in our competition. So the first step you need to register by filling up this form in order to receive the link 
to download the ebook. And second, you will once you have received the link, you will be able to assess all nine storybooks and you can choose the story that you want to retell together with your child. And then that's the fun part where you will record down and take a video of your child telling the story. And now it's the third step and also the final step where you will submit us your video by sending us a private message on our Facebook page. You can do so by clicking this button here where it will direct you to your Facebook Messenger here. Or you can do so by go to our Facebook page and you can send us a message from here. You can do so by clicking this message button here and you can send in your video by uploading from your phone gallery. You can just send it here to us and we will respond and acknowledge your submission accordingly. Yep, so these are the three simple steps. I hope everyone is clear on this. Now coming back on step one, I'd like to guide you through on how to download the ebooks. Yeah, so first you need to complete this form. You need to type in your name. I'll use mine. And also you need to email address where we will be sending you a confirmation email with the link for you to download the books. And your mobile number. Of course, the participant's full name, your child's name, and the age, and the schools that your child is currently studying at. Once that's done, you click Submit. You will be directed to the book selection page, which is, yep, this one. So don't worry, you can, this link here, you can retrieve it back from your email address and come back to here anytime. So you can see here, all the nine books are all here for all three categories. You can also view it and download the PDF version. You can read it from here or you can even watch and listen to the audiobook here on our YouTube channel. The drum. Yeah, I hope everyone and is in able to listen to me. To her baby. Yeah. So you can take this listen as to these things that we have she said, handing. So all these nine books you can read and listen to these later. Yeah, and as you can see here, all these books, they are level books. So for category A, we have for level A and level C. And for category C, we have level Y, level V. Yeah, so if you're wondering, we selected all nine, these nine books from our reading app called Kids A to Z. And I would like to quickly just show you how it looks like. Yeah, here. So if you can see here, this is the app, the reading app called Kids A to Z and it has a space team environment. Your kids can read books from mobile device and of course, a laptop and your tablets. So once logged in, kids will be on the deck of this their spaceship and they can click into this reading room where we pick up the nine books. And in this reading room, they have they can listen and read thousands of interactive storybooks. We have from level A to level ZZ, and we have different, different topics. Okay, let's just load. Okay, here, here you go. You can see they are able to assess thousands of storybooks here. 
Yep, so every time they finish reading a book, they will be able, they will collect stars or points. They will collect stars and they can use the stars they collected and go to this star zone to build their own rockets. And they can even um, design a customized avatar for themselves, which is very interesting. Yeah, you can see here, the more they read and they will receive more stars and the more they get, they will receive uh, different, different features. You can even, yeah. so all these uh, awards and incentives features will definitely motivate kids to pick a book and read. Yeah, and so the good news is we are giving out one year free access of this reading app to all finalists and winners. <laughs> so yeah, we hope that you will submit your video before 21st of December so that you stand a chance to get all these interactive storybooks. And meanwhile, if you want to learn more about this reading app, you can contact us anytime on Facebook or email us, or you can go to this link here, Digital Storybooks, on your book selection page, where you will be directed to our online shop, where you can find out more details about these storybooks, these digital ebooks, and purchase online as well. Yeah, so that's all from me, and I'd like to pass it back to Elaine. Thank you very much. So thank you so much. I hope you all had a great uh, fruitful session with us. Uh, do feel free to put some questions in the chat box. If you have any questions that you would like to clarify further, uh, do let us know and we are always, always happy to help you with any questions that you have. Okay. It looks like everybody knows. <laughs> Ilay, so, you want to tell them about the important dates? I, you mentioned, um, you, you did mention, did you? Yeah, I think you did mention already. Okay, okay yeah. let, me, let us just like, um, remember to submit your video to us before 21st of December. After midnight 21st December, we won't be accepting any submission. So it will be treated as invalid entries. And also we will review and will be, the videos will be judged by our judging panels. And we will announce the winner on 30th of December. Be sure to follow and like us on Facebook so that you will be posted <coughs> on our announcement. So let me see what are the questions. Um, Grace and Elaine, I think I will yes. just uh, raise one or two questions and maybe you could address them, yeah? Uh, yes, there's sure. one from uh, Inchik Muhammad Hadi. Uh, his question is, uh, if I want to register my students for the competition, do the teachers register for them or the parents are the one who need to do it? Yeah, so his concern is who registers. Okay, thank you for the question. So uh, we will we will want the parents or the the guardian to register for the for the kids, so that uh, it's easier and they can monitor directly. So uh, I'm suggesting the parents do it rather than the teachers. Okay, since I'm a teacher myself, can I just uh, add on to the question? Sure. Um, in some schools, sometimes it is the teacher who would like to motivate the children, mm -hmm. you know, especially in, in schools where uh, parents may not be able to help, so the teacher is stepping in. So would it be okay for the teacher to register all as guardian? Uh, it, it will be fine. It will be fine. We, we accept teachers. I mean, uh, teachers usually are quite busy. So if they don't 
mind and they would love to register for their kids, why not? So we accept that as well. That's so nice. That would be so great. Thank you. Okay, there's one from Anonymous. Um, the query is, can the child follow the exact story in book without changing anything? Yes, the answer is yes, they can follow exactly. But as, as I have mentioned uh, just now, facial expression, the enunciation, the up to your creativity, but don't make it sound like you are just reading from a book. So uh, that will be very important. So most important is you can you can you can read exactly, but don't take it like as if you are really literally reading from the book. So in other words, uh, the judging will be the judging criteria will be the uh, on body language and and all the grammar, enunciation, you know, uh, with expression and stuff like that. So we encourage the kid to be as creative as possible. OK, uh, another question. Sorry, Elaine and Grace. Yeah. Uh, do we have to record it in one shot? I believe it's in one go. Or can we combine the scenes that we recorded before and make it into one video? That will be fine as long as um, we stay within the duration. I think that's okay. It's, it's still part of the creativity as long as it's, it doesn't get truncated. This one, I think, it, I believe it's from the child, him or herself, you know. Okay. The question Thank you for your question. Thank she's you. 13. Which group am I in? She's 13. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> um, I, I, I have just answered. Maybe you can clarify over the, over the air. I've said that if, if you have already had your 13th birthday, then we you know we are sorry because the competition is only till 12 years old. So would that be accurate? Would you like to uh, elaborate? I think that's uh, spot on. Spot yeah. On. yeah. So even if the child is in form one, but has not had the 13th birthday, then that would be fine, isn't it, to take part? Yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, from uh, Ikmit. Um, so uh, the question is, can kids use props? All the better, all the better. You can use big props, small props, any kind of props to show and to, to even emphasize the story better. We will allocate points for that. I mean, the judges will allocate points for that. Definitely a yes. Is that okay. all? I, I, I'm done. Grace, uh, did I miss anything? Maybe you want to add on? Yeah. Thank you. I think uh, the questions are all in, I think. Yeah. All right. Thank you, uh, Elaine. And uh, if there's no more questions, thank you, Grace, as well. Um, right. Um, is this sharing session is being recorded? Okay. So the recording will be made available on the YouTube channel. Okay. On Melta YouTube channel and also the Facebook and also Mangosteen, the website and their Facebook. So you can um, listen to this recording again for further information. Okay. And the organizer would like to thank all of you for your time, for the wonderful time. Okay, all the best children. Please remember creativity, your language and a few items that you need to uh, take note. Okay, all the best and um, have a wonderful day ahead. Stay safe and goodbye.